go out there and build a large company. In fact, I remember Anand's words was, can you become the world's largest solar platform? When we had identified renewable energy as a great opportunity, uh, for a couple of reasons. One is it fits absolutely spot on into our Mahindra Rice Pillars. It was a great business opportunity. The sector was beginning to boom worldwide, but more importantly in India. And last but not the least, we were all going to come in at the same page, meaning solar was such a nascent technology that there was no early mover advantage. So we said, let's go on something like that and build it. And that business model has also pivoted very interestingly. So when we started out, we said we will do start with a small project. We will do EPC. But what we did is we brought in three private equity partners to actually own the project with us. Because again, as a group, we had said we are not going to go very capital intensive in owning assets. Once that first pilot of five megawatt was done and we realized that this company had something that they were building out and very good IPR on EPC, we said, let's help them scale up, which then translated into more projects. And interestingly, a year later, when we had presented to the m and board, they actually told us that go out there and build a large company. In fact, I remember Anand's words was, can you become the world's largest solar platform? We are in that process of part today. As we speak today, that company has moved not only from being, they are at any given point, number one or two, India's largest solar EPC. On the world platform, they have now started doing EPC. On the solar development side, we've got one gigawatt of projects which we are owning as a group. So imagine we are producing one gigawatt of clean energy. And then on the side, they've launched a brand called Mahindra Teco, which is a global company doing O&M, only using technology uh, devices. And then the last but not the least, they are building out interesting products and services for what I call the distribution platform. That's going to be the game changer again in India, as we know that where electricity is not there in many villages and districts, how can one create off the grid but distributed solar energy that every household can use and benefit from, whether it's not just for their regular needs, but you combine it maybe with farming, and you know, can you use solar pumps along with household energy? So lots of interesting innovations and products coming out of the house of sustainability.